Hello YouTubers, this is Grinalis back with another review, well I guess not over a review but overclocking. I will be overclocking the AMD 6870. I have already went into the BIOS, or sorry, registry. And uh, did the registry hack that allows you to overclock the core past a thousand and the memory past twelve, twelve hundred, or sorry, yeah, past twelve hundred. Uh, as far as actually getting past a thousand it is unstable I am uh, using aftermarket cooling which is the uh, Zalman VF3000A uh, which I had to uh, custom cut two heat sinks one for the, uh, the, the fourth RAM chip on the back and one for the uh, voltage regulators because th that was made those are compatible the cooler is compatible with the 60 with the 68 series but it's only the cooler itself and uh, well it fits in the holes and everything but the ram sinks aren't all does don't all stock fit so it's not 100 percent compatible you have to modify two of the pieces that come with it so, uh, Combustor does show this adequately, so I'm not going to open up, well, I'll open up GPU-Z just so you can see what we have, but this accurately displays what the overclock is. It shows exactly what this is. So, there we go. Where stock is 91050, 68 series. Uh, the catalyst uh, 11.2s. So we, now we will go into start overclocking here. I've already got the profile set. This is already the max that you can do with this cooler. It's unstable even at uh, at 10,005. It's just it'll uh, it doesn't totally lock up the PC, but this will all everything just the whole PC is basically locks up, and then resumes, and then it'll lock up for a second, and then resume, and it may lock lock up for 15, 20 seconds, and then resume. So I'm calling that unstable. Um, and memory gets unstable at about 13:05. So I just I'm saying this is my max stable, and that is without touching the voltage. I'm not I don't mess with the voltage. I even when I overclock CPU, I don't mess around with voltage. I don't bump that up, so so I can get an extra couple clocks. So at stock GPU voltage, this is about your max. A thousand and twelve ninety five. Adequately displaying it on. Combustor My temps will rise to about 59 It's not going to do it when you're zoomed in like well it would do it if I was zoomed in and that was the only thing on there So it's there we go. You can still see it up there. It may not go all the way to 59 this time. Actually, I think 59 was actually when I was uh, when I had it. Oh, see, there it goes. I don't know if this is going to be doing it. How the video is going to turn out? It just did it. So I'm still not stable. So I am going to lower this. 
Still not stable, so let's lower this and see what happens. Uh, as I was saying before, I had that little lockup. 59 was when I had the memory at 13.10 or 13.5. So it may not hit 59. It may stop at 57. And it looks like that's what it's doing. Uh, so actually, I'm going to post this video with that lockup that it did. I don't know if you call it a lockup or a, a long pause, but it did it. It's not doing it now, so oh, I just hit 58. So it's looking closer like uh, 1290 with still lockups or pauses, so I'm going to bring that down to uh, 1280. see what happens it'll probably be stable there because I haven't even seen a little tiny glitch since I knocked it from 12 or yeah, from 1290 to 12 so there you go AMD HD 6870 with the Zalaman V3000 Zalaman VF 3000A Max core is a thousand, even though it can go up, it's just not stable. I'm sure if you did voltage regulating, you could, but I'm not going to mess with the voltage. And max memory at 1280. Thank you. Comment, uh, whatever. Good one. Take care. Later.